What's up adventuresses and welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you travel the world on horses. I'm your host Crystal Kelly and in today's episode I'm going to be giving you a quick update about my personal experiences and what happened with my horses. In one of our previous videos I discussed a horse emergency, one of my horses actually got injured. So I'm going to be giving you a quick update on Q and how she's doing. And then today I'm going to be sharing with you the updates and just giving you a little bit of information about what our situation is here in Germany and what we are doing, you know, how we managed to actually get our horse from the vet clinic to another stables. So we're going to be giving you a little tour about that. Before I get into it, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm so that other people can find this channel. And I would love it if you can actually leave a comment below what type of videos you would like to watch in the future. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Still in Germany. We rescued Q from the vet. <laughs> so we rescued QQ from the vet. She's got a little bandage on her leg, obviously. And we managed to find some very nice people in a village not too far from where Lily is and where we're staying in Germany. And they are allowing us to sort of rent their free stall. Um, it's just kind of a private family, so it's not like a big yard or something. There's only two stalls. They have, I think, four horses, but they're all out in the field for the summertime. So we are renting out one of the stalls and caring for Q. There she goes with her little roll. So yeah, she's stuck here until her little wound on her foot heals, um, but she seems to be enjoying life, as you can see. Got a nice arena to roll in, so she's very happy. Woohoo! There she goes. <laughs> and there's QQ. morning Lily here actually broke out of her fence um, so there was wiring everywhere the electricity wasn't on I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because like if she got tangled if the electricity was on it would have kept zapping her but at the same time maybe if the electricity was on she wouldn't have gotten into the fence I don't know we don't really know why she usually she does respect the fence really well so I don't know if she just went to like scratch at a fly or something or itch herself and got too close to the wires or roll or something. I mean, we have no idea. Um, so this morning we were awoken because the neighbors found her in their yard, in their backyard. And so little Lily, she didn't get too far luckily. Uh, she was easy to catch. And so this morning we had to basically fashion the fence again and a lot of posts were broken so we had to move things around. She now has some high grass there that you can see, so we've kind of shifted around so it's not a perfect square anymore. Um, yeah, but it's, you know, that's what we have. So we got trapped in Germany because of the whole coronavirus thing, and it's still locked down. Some borders are opening up in some places, but so far here it hasn't really opened up. And I mean, we have the horses. It's really difficult for us to just kind of like get up and go. Um, we don't have a horse box or anything like that, and we're not sure where we're going next. So yeah, this has been an adventure. Um, luckily the neighbors that she was in the yard this morning were quite friendly, and they actually were just petting her and telling her how pretty she is, so they didn't mind too much that there was a horse eating their chicken food, apparently, and, um, yeah, digging around in their garden. So that's Lily for you. Um, but she's, she's good and she's happy now. Thank you. 